안녕하세요. Okay, so I promised you guys a blog post today, and I ended up getting called into work, and I was not able to write one, so I thought I would give you a little video update and take this opportunity to introduce myself a little bit as a person. Um, so other than being interested in all things Korean, um, I'm also a writer, and I have one publish, published novel. It's called um, Petals, and it's a modern-day version of Beauty and the Beast. Um, I actually have kind of gone on hiatus as far as my writing goes, and that's one reason why I decided to do this project of my summer in Korean, um, because I thought it would be a great way to get me back into the habit of writing. Um, so other than writing and K-dramas, I also love, I have a really great family and friends group, and I really love spending time with them, and um, I love taking long walks by the beach. Uh, no, I love going on long walks. Um, I love going on day trips. Um, we're hopefully going to go camping soon this summer. So yeah, I love all of that stuff. Um, and yeah, I am, I'm 27 years old, and I live in this apartment with my 22-year-old bro younger brother. Um, he's the best roommate ever. And um, I live in central Oklahoma, and I grew up here. Um, uh, yeah, uh, an update on what's going on with my Korean. Um, I downloaded an app. I mentioned it online that I had downloaded an app called um, Learn Korean in a Month. And I don't think it's going to actually work very well because um, it doesn't give you an English translation for what you're looking at. So it'll show a picture of like a man wearing a hat, holding a cell phone, and then it says a word. And you're like, okay, are you saying man, hat, cell phone, or the tree behind the man? So I don't think it's going to end up working. And it only has a little bit of a free trial, so... Yeah, probably not going to be what's going to be helping me. Um, really, really awesome side note um, in my journey. I have uh, uh, I have a friend who posted my my vlog post on her Facebook wall, and she tagged a friend of hers, and her friend happens to be Korean. So um, I have made a new friend. Annyeonghaseyo! <laughs> to my new friend, and um, she told me how to spell my name in Hangul, um, which is the Korean uh, written language, and she also, um, funnily enough, she actually uh, suggested that I check out um, a K-drama called You Are Beautiful, um, which is, uh, which has one of my favorite k pop stars in it, which is Lee Hong Ki, and I mentioned him last time, so she recommended it, which uh, was really funny to me because that is the K-drama that actually got this whole thing started, as I love You Are Beautiful. Um, actually, uh, this barrette, if you're familiar with You Are Beautiful, you will recognize this barrette because this is uh, from You Are Beautiful. Um, anyway, so that was really, really, really awesome to get connected with this other person that um, doesn't live in Oklahoma, and I would never have been connected with her otherwise. So getting to uh, meet travelers along the way is part of any journey and adventure, and so that's really exciting. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, I am so glad that you guys are along the journey with me, and um yeah, so I need to go because I actually need to get to my lessons. I worked on my vocab a little bit today, but I need to start learning how to actually read and write um, Hangul, and so I need to go watch a video on that. So anyway, um, I hope that you guys have a good evening, and I was going to learn how to say good night, but for the life of me, can't remember it right now, so instead I will say fighting, which is uh, Korean for you can do it or yeah so I think <laughs>